Hello and welcome to another Matokyo tutorial showing you how to customize the booking form. As you maybe know, the Matokyo booking form is dynamically generated and can easily be adjusted to your own needs. For this we have a whole view in the Matokyo backend, so let's switch there. Components Matokyo booking fields. And as you can see, these are all the default fields as shown in the front end. If you want to disable, enable one, just hit here on published. Um, let's take a look at more. let's take a closer look at one field. So we choose city in our example. It starts all with the file name. The file name is mostly a intern identifier. That means you don't have to translate this one and you, uh, this one is not shown directly to the user. Um, it's used for IDs, names and HTML codes so you can't use any special characters except the underscore here as you would have uh, would get a JavaScript error. Um, after that we have the caption label placeholder, the translation placeholder. This is actually shown to the user. In our case, because we support multilingual forms, we have comma Tokyo file city in here. In English that becomes just um, location. If you don't have a multilingual language site, just type in city or anything else here. Um, in this uh, field, special characters are of course allowed. You can use spaces, anything. It's just the label which is shown to the user and which is shown in the backend to identify a file. After that you can set a default value. If you fill in something here, this would be norm normally put in here. Next, you have the values, select radio, etc. We're going to come back to that when I show a select file. Next, you set on which page the field is displayed. If you have a, a free event or have disabled all payment plugins, so you don't want to have any payment done in Matokyo, you have two steps. First step showing the field, second page mostly for confirmation and uh, um, terms and conditions is shown there and some other things. Um, so mostly on a two-page booking form you want to use the first page. If you have three pages, the second page is for payment. So here you choose on which page the, the file is shown. First, second, third page. Please notice second page is only shown if the event is paid. Else it's a third page. Even here it's a, two, uh, it's a two, it's a third page, the confirmation page on which you can have another ticket. Next you choose the file type. Um, text is a nice easy input file um, of the type text where a user can type something in. Text area is some larger file for comments or another long text. Select are these drop downs like used here. Um, radio buttons, checkboxes, etc. So the normal HTML elements. Um, spacer is um, some separator between booking fields. That one is the spacer and that one is the spacer too. And we have also spacer with text. That's also a space like here, but you can have text in it. The first, uh, the first thing here is also this message, please fill in the following form as complete as possible, um, is and spacer with text, so you can have text inside your form wherever you like it. Next, you set if the file is required or not. If it's required, it's immediately 
validated in the front end. As you can see, when I click on next, please fill out all required fields and it's get a nice asterisk, red asterisk next to the field name. It's not only validated in the JavaScript, it's also later validated in the PHP form. So if the user does not fill that out, he can't go on. Next, you can set some custom style. That's basically some CSS. If you want a shorter, fi uh, shorter file, uh, could just type in here wide 100 pixel, for example. Normal CSS code. Next, you set the ordering, the position where the file should show up. And the last thing is, is the file published or not? So as you can see, it's pretty easy to customize this complete form. So let's create a more complex example. We want to create a new file, let's call it lunch, and ask the user if he wants to have lunch with its booking. So we create a new file called it lunch. Yeah, we let the caption also be lunch. Default value is yes. And now comes a bit different syntax. Some of you should know from, for example, JSON or similar. You have that bracket style. So you have first the value that's the intern value field, no spaces, etc. allowed here. After that, you have the value displayed to the user. And we want to have two options, yes, no, pretty easy. You can have even much more example, uh, complex fields, more complex values, and so on. We want to show it on the first page. File type is radio buttons. Um, we don't have set that to require because it's always yes or no on radio boxes. Um, and we have a default value yes. If you don't set any default value here, none of that would be selected. If we have yes, the yes radio button is selected. So in this case required um, is not necessary. Styles ordering, we can keep the same, but I want it to be at the end of the form, so I set the ordering to 14. Save and classified, and let's take a look at the fr uh, front end. And now we have lunch, yes, no, in here. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to also create more complex examples. Also with multi-language translations, as you can see in here. Let's take a look at the title file. If you keep the first value empty and have a required field, if that isn't selected, so if he hasn't chosen, it would get also, please fill in, choose that file. As you can see, this file is required too, because please choose has no value. These labels are also translated. If you have a multi-language page, you can use language placeholders in there too. So that were the booking fields. If you have a paid event, let's just change that here. Additional settings, let's set the fee to 10 you have three pages. As you can see, you would have this method of payment and so on. These are fixed fields. Um, coupon, you can save a coupons if you want. This is a custom field. So you could also have custom fields on page two if you want. The last page is as always the confirmation page showing what the user has filled out, showing what payment and how much he has to pay if it's a paid event. And if you have some terms and conditions, they are also shown down here. 
So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can just drop us a line. You can find more information about how to set up booking credits in the Matricure documentation. You can find it on the Competroom page, support documentation, and Matricure.